Local environmentalists recently did some late spring cleaning in town. Let's see what they picked up at this annual beach cleanup. El Segundo Beach is a playground and place of relaxation for many, so keeping it clean doesn't feel like a chore, and it's easy. Grab a, some plastic gloves, a bag, and a gripper or two, and just go out and walk the beach and pick up whatever you see. Every June, El Segundo Power and the El Segundo Kiwanis Club, along with their many sponsors, present an annual beach cleanup called Beauty and the Beach. And you get to meet your neighbors, you get to meet the local people, and this is a great opportunity for not only the residents and local politicians, but also to meet some of the people that work in the community. And we can share some of that so that we understand that the power plant is a clean burning unit, it, 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 it's a great part of the community, and we want to work hand in hand with everybody. Entanglement, right? They can get caught in the track. Environmental group Heal the Bay stopped by to show their support for the 11th annual event. Different community groups team up with us to um, have cleanups and we usually we provide the supplies but they're very on top of it and have their own supplies uh, but we take care of the permitting and make sure that there's a speaker a, a little educational presentation. And it's all volunteers and everybody here is is somebody that, uh, that, that wants to help and serve the community. You know you find some some stuff out there that shouldn't be on the beach and we're gonna remove it and and uh, make the beach a better place. Starting at the parking lot at the end of Grand Avenue, the volunteers made their way to the El Segundo power plant, picking up garbage along the way. My three sons, Jonathan, Nicholas, and William are here, and we're uh, getting ready to go walk down the beach and pick up some trash. And the ocean is a big part of California culture, so it's amazing for people to come out and clean up the beach, pick up trash. Fortunately, there's not even that much trash, so I think that says a lot about the area, but the little stuff I think we're picking up. And those things don't belong in the sand. A water bottle, um, cigarettes. cigarettes, bubbles, socks, and wrappers. We found a lot of lollipop sticks and Legos even. And putting those things where they do belong makes the beach more enjoyable for all. I think it's going to be good for the animals because they don't know what they're eating and they can choke on this stuff and it can kill them. Once you make it to the power plant and leave your trash and your trash pickers at the gate, there's only one thing left to do. Eat. We have somebody that's coming down from uh, Ventura, uh, Bodacious Barbecue. We've been using them for a few years and they volunteer. We Marshall made sure there was enough food to satisfy each volunteer. Tri-tip, which was uh, Nebraska prime tri-tip, and we had uh, chicken and uh, hot, hot dogs and hamburgers, and green salad, potato salad, chili beans. On display were 185 entries submitted for the event t-shirt contest. So every year we have the local artists from all the different schools in El Segundo, Manhattan Beach, and uh, Wiseburn uh, go ahead and to do a t-shirt, I mean to do an artwork so to put on her t-shirt. As you can see, this is our, this year's uh, winner. The winner and 10 runner-ups received Barnes & Noble gift cards for their artwork. But everyone at the event went home with a sense of accomplishment. I think we picked up quite a bit of trash and I think it's important for the kids to know um, yeah, about no, giving just, back to the community. Happy. We were completely loaded down with food and there's nothing left. <laughs> With all the food devoured and all the trash out of the sand, the beach cleanup looked like an all-around success. For El Segundo TV, I'm Catherine Chen.